happy to say Hello, it's gonna be a great day So all aboard the Reading Express We're headed to Ken's Library Hello, we're happy to say Hello, it's gonna be a great day again in the winter month of February. And today we are going to be, oh, oh, I just got really excited. I just got really, really excited. Oh, something's making me feel so excited. It's making my toes move fast. It's making my hands move fast. And it's something I've been looking forward to all month long. Do you know what's coming? Oh, I'll see if you can guess because I have something in my pocket that only comes once a year. And I'm gonna see if you can guess what it is. Someone made it out of paper, decorated it, and wrote me a special note. Do you know what that is? It's a Valentine because coming very, very soon is Valentine's Day. Now, I love to get Valentine's. Do you? This is a special one right here, and I'm going to read it to you. It says, roses are red, violets are blue, story time online is fun, and so are you. Oh, what a sweet Valentine. I'm going to put that in my pocket and save it for a music song we're going to sing later. But everybody get ready for our Valentine special. We're gonna make a rocket ship to blast our love all the way to the moon. And we're gonna sing songs and read stories about Valentine's Day. And oh, I'm so excited. We better get started with Hello Time. to sing with my friends. Let's sing together. Come on. <laughs> imagination is. Now, let me see. Is your imagination in your nose? <laughs> no. Is your imagination in your toes? Oh, <laughs> no, it's not there either. Where's your imagination? That's right. It's in your head. And today we're going to use that imagination to hop on board Miss Chris's Reading Express train and take it all the way to the Kent Public Library where I have so many fun things planned for you today. So first, I need to know that you guys know how to toot your train horns. Can you say toot toot? <laughs> Very good. Toot toot. All right, everyone. All aboard. Toot toot. Let's drive those trains together. Here we go. We're all going to Library, we have to pick a book. We'll pick a book at the library, the library, the library. We'll pick a book. 
silly song time, silly song time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, my favorite silly songs. And today they're about valentines and getting a valentine and giving a valentine and getting lots of valentines that are that have hearts that have stars that have blue green yellow oh purple with pink polka dots i don't care i just love getting valentines but i do have favorite colors do you have a favorite color valentine to get oh that's a great color now remember i found the valentines in miss chris's pocket and we're going to sing a silly song about those valentines. Can you sing along with me? Here we go. You are my red valentine, my special valentine. It's red. And I love you. Oh, yes, I do. You're my red valentine, my special valentine. But how I wish that you we're blue. <gasps> it's blue. You're my blue valentine, my special valentine. And I love you. Oh, yes, I do. You're my blue valentine, my special valentine. But how I wish that you were green. <gasps> it's green. You're my green valentine, my special valentine. And I love you. Oh, yes, I do. You're my green valentine. creating them today and I just love them. Can you help me count how many there are? Ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Five big valentines from the corner store. I mailed one to a friend and then there were how many? One, two, three, four. Very good. Four big Valentines, lovely to see. I mailed one to Mommy. <laughs> Let's give that one to Mommy. That looks like a good one for Mommy. And then there were, how many? One, two, three, good. Three big valentine, shiny, red, and new. I mailed one to, let's give one to Daddy. This one, that looks like a good one for Daddy. Then there were, how many? Can you count with me? One, two. Very good. Two big valentine, the best is yet to come. I mailed one to, who should we send one to now? Yes, let's send one to Grandma. This one right here looks good for Grandma. I mailed one to Grandma, and then there was, how many are left? Can you count it? One, very good. Oh, we only have one left. Who should we give it to? Let's see, one big valentine, the giving is almost done. 
I mailed this last one to, we gave one to Grandma. Let's give one to Grandpa, this one right here in the center. I mailed one to Grandpa, and then there was none. <laughs> That's right. No more Valentines from the corner store. I think I'd better go back and get some more. Oh, we certainly should because I have a lot more people that would like to get, that was loud, <laughs> that would like to get Valentines, don't you think? Now I found this book. Click, clack, moo. I love you. And it looks like a perfect Valentine book because we have who on the front? What is that? That's right, that's a duck. And that duck seems to be creating what for his friends and family? Some valentines. Are you gonna give valentines to your friends and family? Oh, I bet they'll be so beautiful. Let's open our book and see what happens for Click Clack Moo, I Love You by Doreen Cronin, illustrated by Betsy Lewin. It's Valentine's Day on the farm, but there is work to be done before the big dance. They're having a Valentine dance. Oh, how exciting to get dressed up and dance for Valentine's Day. To keep the pigs healthy, Farmer Brown cleans the pig pen. It gets kind of dirty in there. To keep the donkey happy, Farmer Brown stocks the stable with lots of what? What does he put in that stable? Donkey likes to eat what? Hey, very good. To keep the animals safe from foxes and raccoons, Farmer Brown mends the fence. So Farmer Brown puts up a fence so that no one can get into where the animals are safe. Little Duck, there's Little Duck, worked hard. She tied balloons to everything. She hung streamers from everything. She strung sparkling lights between everything. She made hearts out of anything she could find. Look at how she's decorating the barn. Doesn't that look beautiful with all those hearts and lights and balloons? Oh, Little Duck is doing a great job. When Little Duck was finished, there was paint on her face. Glitter, can you see the glitter sparkling in her wings? and a valentine for everyone. She wrote valentines to pig, sheep, donkey, chicken, farmer brown. Oh, little duck has been very busy decorating and creating valentine cards for her friends. That evening, little duck greeted each guest at the door. The chickens arrived first. Little duck handed each chicken a valentine. The chickens handed her a casserole. Well, that's something to eat. So the chickens brought some food to the Valentine party. That's nice to share food at a party with your friends. The pigs arrived next. Little Duck handed each pig a Valentine. And the pigs handed her chips and salsa. Ooh, chips and salsa at a party at a Valentine's dance. That sounds yummy. The sheep arrived fashionably late. She handed each sheep a valentine. The sheep headed right for the chips and salsa. They went right to eating. The cows had a more formal affair and were out for the evening. Oh, the cows couldn't get there? Okay. They went to the bovine bowl. Oh, I see. They were very busy. When the music came on, the chickens danced with the chickens. The pigs danced with the pigs, and the sheep danced with the sheep, and the mice did the hustle. Doo, 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 doo. On the other side of the fence at the top of the hill, a little fox heard the music. She perked up her ears and called, yip, yip, yip. Nobody answered, but there were streamers in the trees. Little fox climbed down the hill. She called, yip, yip, yip. Nobody answered. But, but there were balloons to lead the way. 
She sees streamers. She sees balloons in the trees. Little fox trotted down the fence. She called, yip, yip, yip. Nobody answered. But there was a trail of hearts to follow. So little fox dug a hole. I wonder why she dug a hole. Well, you see, she can't get in, right? She can't get in where the party is because there's a fence that the farmer put up. Little fox arrived at the barn covered in streamers and glittered. She called, yip, yip, yip. The chickens stopped dancing. The sheep stopped dancing. The pigs stopped dancing. The mice hustled right out into the hay. They look a little nervous, don't they? That little fox is there. Look a little nervous. That little fox got in. Little fox called again. Yip, yip, yip. Little duck was not scared. She greeted the new guest. Look, she's not scared of little fox. So little duck gives little fox a valentine. That's right. She handed little fox her last valentine. She's making her feel what? Welcomed to be there. Little fox handed her a valentine right back. Yip, yip, yip. Quack, quack, quack. That's what they said. Yip, yip, yip. Quack, quack, quack. Duck turned the music up. Yip, quack, yip, quack, yip, quack, quack. The chickens danced with the sheep. The pigs danced with the chickens. Huh, so no more are they dancing all by themselves, right? Where the pigs just dance with the pigs and the chickens just dance with the chickens and the sheep just dance with the sheep. Because little fox and little duck danced together, it inspired them to dance together with different animals. And the mice kept right on hustling. Everybody danced with everybody until the cows came home. <laughs> oh, look at the cows all dressed up in tiaras and ne pearl necklaces and heart earrings. Those are fancy cows. And the farmer danced with the donkey. Oh, well, that's a sweet book about different animals becoming friends and giving each other valentines and dancing together and playing together and having fun together even though they're all different. Oh, I almost forgot everybody. It's craft time. Today's craft is this rocket ship heart magnet. Oh, this is a really fun craft to make because you can put all of your love for Valentine's Day on this rocket ship and blast off and give it to someone that you love for Valentine's Day. Isn't it fun? All right, everybody, let's head over to Miss Chris's Craft Corner and make this special Valentine's Day project. For today's craft, you will be building a Valentine rocket ship, and you will need the supplies that you picked up from the Kent Public Library. Don't worry if you weren't able to pick up anything this week, because you can always register for next week by calling the library or going online. Let's get started. Here are the supplies that you'll need. In the bag, you have four popsicle sticks, a double-sided sticky piece, a magnet, because it is a magnet rocket ship valentine, the white foam pieces, the colored foam pieces for decorating. Let's begin. First, you're going to pop out the white foam pieces, just like so. Not always easy to pop out, so don't worry. Once you have your pieces out, you're going to set them up correctly. You need this piece at the bottom, this piece in the center, and the triangle goes up at the top. When you lay them down, 
make sure that they are sticky side up. Okay. Ooh, that one wasn't sticky side up. That means the side with the removable paper. Then you're going to remove all of the sticky paper and then try to get it to stick down onto the table, which is kind of difficult because it's going to keep wanting to stick to your fingers. Okay, get the next one off. Put it down. This is basically your outline for the rocket ship. Last piece of white sticky foam, like so. Then you try to line them up like that. Okay? Now, once you have those pieces down, you are going to add your four popsicle sticks. So, you want to add them along the body, adding one, two, and three. You want to line this one up just like so. That, okay? Good. You've got your first one down. Now, what's good here is that you can hold on to this popsicle stick and add your second one. Good. Hold your popsicle sticks down. Add your third one. Hold your popsicle sticks down. And add your fourth one. Now you've got all four down, and that looks like a rocket ship. Now you're going to want to decorate. So pop out your colorful foam pieces and begin decorating. Ooh, that's, there's that fire that comes out that sends the Valentine rocket ship up into the air. See that? We're going to start at the top with our triangle. And this triangle has hearts on it for Valentine. Oh, we're going to add that to the top right there. Now we have to put our wings, which are going to go here and there. So take the paper off and let's line it up as best we can. It's going to grab and boom, right in. Okay, and then we do one for the other side. Line it up best you can and boom right on look at that now we have to add the fire coming from the bottom that shoots our rocket ship up so line it up as best you can like that yep and boom now we're going to decorate the front so that's where you're going to take your hearts you're going to peel the backing, and I'm going to put this heart right in the middle because it's light pink. And then I'll put my red heart at the top and my other red heart at the bottom. Right there. Oh, okay. And there's my rocket ship. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. Remember what Miss Craft says. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be perfect. For you and that's perfect for me now on this white piece of foam this last piece of white foam that's a rectangle you're gonna peel that off the back and then you're gonna peel the other side too this is a double stick piece of foam it sticks on both sides double stick flip that magnet over add the double stick foam to the back of the rocket ship and then add your magnet that sticks right there and then you have it your valentine rocket ship well that was a lot of fun i would really like to see all of your finished craft pieces can you take a picture and drop that picture into the comment section below of this post so that i can see it and <coughs> Oh boy, my friends, would you look at the time? It's goodbye time. I had so
so much fun with you today. I can't wait to see you all next time. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm afraid I have to fly. Our time together's